Dun 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 I'm so sorry. Meow, I'm sorry. I'll I'll go to bed. Do 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 Good morning, Minecraft! Hey guys, aw, oh, Isleberry, my dog. What a beautiful day in the world of Minecraft. It's a fantastical day to be, you know, chilling. The birds, the Minecraft birds are singing, the Minecraft squids are twitching, and the Minecraft cows are never where they're supposed to be. And of course, there's giant spiders because... <sighs> because there is. Hey, Meow, you were meowing all last night, you know. I kept hearing you. I kept... I was trying to sleep. I was, I was trying to sleep in your meows. Were, yeah, exactly. Yep, just like that. So, guys, just wanted to say how fantastical you all are. And, uh... Hello, Skelly. Hello, Mr. Skelly. Quat! They used to call me the Sure Shot because I was sure to shot with... All of my... Oh my gosh, you know what? I was about to show you guys the wall of YouTube, just like normal, but I just realized, I am so sorry, I forgot a couple names, so hold on, give me two seconds here, hold on. Take two, like a second round, except for I'm not cutting, because I'm a crazy guy, and you know why? Why retake, right, Meow? Right? Okay, guys, so I actually put up the signs now. Welcome to the Hall of YouTube, the famous YouTube hall, where I put down subscribers' names for subscribing to show my appreciation. So, thank you guys so much for subscribing. These are the most recent subscribers. We are actually very, very, very close um, to 500, but we still have not hit 500. And I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? I have, like, 491 people watching instead of the 500, and it doesn't really matter. It's just a number. It's just that when I do hit 500, I will be singing my song for my uh, subscribers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> that's enough noises. And, uh, yeah, so I will be singing a song for you guys, so I cannot wait until we hit a 500. I just wanted to take a little moment here, guys. It's been a little while since I've appreciated the fact that Isleberry's gone. That is so sad. Oh, I try to be funny, but seriously, it it is it is quite sad. I, you guys don't know how lonely it is here. It is extremely extremely lonely. Thank you so much for all your sheepy mail, though. I've been getting some great mail from you guys lately. I've been getting some dynamite, a couple ender pearls actually. I've got ender pearls up the wazoo now, and. Uh, Wow, I've been given so much stuff from you guys. Coal, some iron ingots for the People's Bridge, which I'll show you guys pretty soon here. And, uh, yeah, just been, just been great. But i just like to say, Mom and Dad, it's been, like, three months now, I think. I think it's been around three months. And I miss you guys like crazy. You know, I just, I haven't seen you in forever. My friends, guys, uh, you know, you may be, you may be off going to the mall, going and doing your stuff, you know, doing your work all that stuff, having fun, and I'm stuck in here, and it may look like fun, guys, it may look like fun, but I assure you, I am stuck here, and <laughs> it is so, ooh, ooh, it drives you crazy, I'm going to be crazy mat brush before the night is over, and the sheepies that I accidentally killed, well, not accidentally, I just needed their wool, but still, anyways, guys, ooh, ooh, that's got to hurt, <laughs> good thing I don't really feel pain, if I did, I wouldn't be able to talk underwater, but I can, look at this, one of the many crazy things about this crazy system. Oh well. <laughs> um, Alright guys, let's go show you the People's Bridge. This is the bridge that, uh, as you guys subscribe, the ingots... Is, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, every time we get a subscriber, it makes an ingot. Every time it makes an ingot, eventually we get to nine, and I make a little square, and I add it to the People's Bridge. And look at how far we've come. Look at this. Look at how far we've come, guys. We look great. We're looking spectacular. We're looking bamboozled. You know, and I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. I'm loving how bamboozled we look. Okay, that squid is getting hurt, and it is not my fault. Oh, he just died. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, Mr. Squid. But really, you guys got to figure out your glitches, cause I don't know. You don't. You don't know what you're doing, and uh, and it's scary. You know. Um, I've worked on a couple th chickens. What? 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, those chickens are supposed to be in their pen, and the cows haven't really... Oh, no, the cows have escaped. Okay, cows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for massacring these cows in front of you guys. I know it's it's quite mean and awful, and I feel bad. Wow. But check this out. Check out my recent cow. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that. They don't even know what to do. Like, they're stuck. I open this up, and they're probably going to come shooting out. I've been overfeeding them like crazy with wheat because I really wanted to see how much this would happen. And it's uh, it's really loud and it's quite crazy. <laughs> um, but I, I, do you guys want to see what happens if I open this gate? I want to see if they'll come shooting out. Let's see. Oh, darn it. I was really hoping they'd come shooting out like a gun or something. Darn it. Oh well. Okay, let's get away from that. That's really loud. This is my pigs as well. As you guys can see, I'm really overexpanding on food. It's just it's just something I really want. I've been playing a lot of survival games lately, and it makes you appreciate food a lot more. So I was like, you know what, piggies, let's get it going on. So here's my piggies, and they are oinking away, <laughs> and they're doing their thing. And the most recent addition to all this is the lighthouse thingy, my babaroo, which I, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't know much about it. I mean, I, I didn't make it. Um... And and I don't I, I don't know really how it came or anything. I was just sort of walking by and I, I noticed I noticed it and it was quite strange and you know you go, Oh gosh, actually I haven't seen the inside yet. Whoa This isn't that bad. This actually looks pretty cool. Let's uh let's take a gander, shall we? Let's gander around. That's a lot of glowstone. My gosh. That is quite a bit of glowstone. Uh, let's, uh, let's gander around this. I'm gonna die. My gosh, I should've got Bailey's, uh, long fall boot stuff on. Oh. I don't think it's finished, guys, because I'm, uh, I'm hitting the roof here, so. We are gonna have to go back down this way, but I wonder whose lighthouse this is. Because it's, it's, uh, it wasn't here before. I mean, uh, we've got the footage to prove that, so, you know. If we gotta go to court or anything, I can totally prove uh, innocent until proven guilty. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do you guys, do you guys know what I mean? Nah. I don't know. Whoa. You guys hear that? You guys hear that? What was that? What, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that noise? Do you guys hear that noise? Is that just the water? Is that the squid? Wow, that's kind of creepy. The squid just kind of makes noise. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm getting a little bit neurotic here. Neurotic. Hey, Marvin, how you doing? Oh, you know, just stuck in a glass house. Well, that's great. You know, it's fantastical. What do you what do you, what happens when I do this? How do you feel? Okay, Matt Brush, this really doesn't matter at all because you don't, you don't you're feel just anything. Oh, that's, that's fine. Because no, I'm just gonna. Oh, happened, like, that's right. It was nothing pointless, happened. Matt Brush. Right. Well, you know, Marvin, I got a lot of suggestions on what to. Can I have my arrow back? Nope. Okay. Apparently not. I got a lot of suggestions on how to get you guys out. One of them was to simply just break the wool around the glass, and I was like, "Oh, well, fantastic. Let's just do that." But if you notice, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't break. You know, I try to break this, and it doesn't break. So, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I. If I can't break the wool, I mean, this is this is lame. But I can't break the wool or the glass, so if I can't break the wool or the glass, then what do I do? Well, simple, says another. They say, why don't you just dig under? Well, if you notice, Marvin and Melvin are both stuck actually underneath as well. So there's not much I can do for them except for, say, um, help? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry, Marvin. Please get us help, me, brush. I'm sorry, you guys. I really wish I could help. I'm just showing everybody else so that maybe they can give us some suggestions on what to do. I may be getting you some dynamite soon, but you guys are really going to have to step back for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. You are fantastic. I love you, Marvin. Love you, Melvin. And I'm going to have to save you soon, but I can't do it right now. And I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, those those crazy sheepies. You guys, you, you guys don't even believe them either. I, I heard a lot of you seem to think that Marvin is... Some kind of evil, crazy sheep is lying to me, and... Honestly, do you think Marvin would have trapped himself there? I don't see why he would have. I don't... It doesn't it doesn't add up, you know? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. My first guess would have been, like, King Freezy, but... You know, if if you guys think it's Marvin, then that's... That's fine. Oh, man, those cows are annoying. Wow. They are quite annoying. 
Okay, let's dive down into my craziness here. I've been recently doing some... Who we should call it uh, fantastical work of a genius? No, no, just kidding. It's just been me working on some potions and stuff. You guys may think I'm crazy, but I I've never really done much with potions before, and you know I just okay. Can I not pick up arrows now? What is going on with this world? I just okay. Well, fine. I guess I'll never pick up arrows again. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so I have been working on a bit of potion making stuff. I've been making, I got some nether warts all in here. I'm going to grow those soon as a farm and all that. Um, and I was making some potions in here. Oh, I guess they're not in here. Oh, I have one on me, the potion of swiftness. That's what I was really interested in. I wanted to move faster while I was working. So I was doing a lot of that. Um, you may notice I have diamond armor on me. Yes, I have been wearing diamond armor for the first time ever, guys. This has been quite the difference. You know, diamond armor is... wow. Wow. It feels good. You know, it feels comfy. They got my size right. Um, as you can see, it looks great in the back, you know. Um, not too bad in the front either. You know, we, we got some we got some good looks here. I was in there and uh, one of those gas was looking at me. He's like, wow, that guy looks good. And I was like, I know, I know. Well, it's, I got the diamond armor tailor fitted to me. Um, the only reason I had the diamond is because I got it sent to me by so many of you. Uh, thank you so much. You know, there was Lucy, there was Gemma, there was... Uh, Bailey Petchel, there was uh, Darkest Gamer, oh gosh, who else was there, who else was there? Uh, well, even Slimy, you know, even Slimy had sent me um, a, a diamond as well, and you know, it's it's so nice to get it from you guys, uh, Hyperu, Hipperu, or whatever, it also sent me a diamond, and um, uh, you guys rock, you guys, oh, I, I, I can't thank you enough, you guys are fantastic, so thank you for sending me diamonds, and ooh, the night grows deathly thin. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna have to go to sleep, so hold on, I'll meet you back upstairs. Here we go. The sheepies are still doing Moulin Rouge. My gosh! Well, let's listen in. Let's hear them. I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. The only way of loving me, baby, is to pay a lovely fee. Just one night. Just one night. There's no way, cause you can't pay. In the name of love. One night in the name of love. You crazy fool. I won't give in to you. Don't leave me this way. Cause I can't survive without your sweet love. Oh baby, don't leave me this way. Wow, fantastical. Guys, I found out that the blue sheep's name is actually Leo, and the, the pink sheep's name is actually Daisy. So, they are the most recent actors up here in the Hizzle, you know, doing their thing, and they, they're good at it, you know? You gotta give them credit, because they are fantastical what they do. They got an amazing voice. I really hope to see them on Broadway one day, um, but, you know, they're gonna have to get out of this game and into real life if they're gonna do that, but we shall see what happens then. Oh man, look at that. Look at those cows. You know, they don't even look like they're having fun. They look so jam-packed. I'm going to have to do something about that. Maybe just have less cows, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. All right, guys, are we going to do this? We're going to do this. We're going to do this jump. We're going to do this jump. I think we should. I think we should do the jump. Do you guys see how big that explosion was? It was like four episodes back when I exploded that tower. You see where all the... Oh my god, I'm still finding like little little pieces of the uh, gravel now. And it's it's crazy. Okay, guys, we're going to do this jump. We're going to do this jump. Okay, here we go. <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'll never get sick of that. That is an awesome jump. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, left leg. Left leg, the beautiful left leg. Yeah, it's just oh gosh, and that's still broken. I got I have so much to fix, guys. I have so much to fix, and I just want to take the time to apologize. Um, I have not made a Castaway Map Rush video in a little while, unfortunately, and, and it's been taking me a little bit longer. Um, I've been having some some problems here and there, unfortunately, and uh, we should be back on track and in schedule pretty soon, but. Yes, I just wanted to take the time to apologize because we are not there yet, and I thought we would be, but I'm doing everything I can for you guys, and I swear to Gorsh that we will soon enough, so 
we'll be back on track and we will be a real team again. You know, we can be like a family. We'll be a real family, all right? We could be a real pile. It'll be awesome. It'll be great. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I should probably not have my sword out. I'll have, I'll have meat. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, mm. Do 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 do. Sorry, I'm getting totally distracted. Anyways, guys, you are all fantastic. I'm gonna have to cut it here, unfortunately. But I will be coming back soon enough. Please give me some ideas on what to do for Marvin and Melvin. Um, you guys have told me to do that, but I cannot, cannot dig under them, and I cannot break the wool or the glass. I'm gonna have to do something else. TNT might work, but I'd like to see if you guys can come up with something else. That'd be fantastic. Anyways, uh, also if you know if if anybody knows where Isabelle is, that'd be great so please let me know and <laughs> i will be talking to you guys soon enough thank you so much for watching this is castaway map brush playing castaway map brush so see you guys later and have a good day